you you gotta I, you know I tell people that entrepreneurship is a sport of discomfort. Like you gotta become comfortable being uncomfortable. Preach. Like that is that is the that is probably the 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 foundation of entrepreneurship. Facts. Nothing about it would be comfortable. Now yeah. people make it sexy in media or movies and make it like you know they show the power suit and you doing all this and that's not first of all you're you're many years away from it you got a lot to master before you can get to it and you don't start that way you you start you said it early you you kind of alluded to it earlier you start off working many positions that you felt or feel are beneath you to be employed. That's it. At. So you you may not go look for a job as a receptionist or a janitor or a mm-hmm. secretary or mm-hmm. some type of admin person, mm-hmm. but then you, you as an entrepreneur you become that, right? That's it. And 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 you know and what I what I tell people as also with with self is, you know, so many of us understand a concept of going to college or going to school to get trained for that thing. So I, I'm, I'm going to go, get, I mean, we're proud, right? Our kids going to college to work in HR and get a marketing degree and get all these different things. But then when those people maybe get tired of corporate America, probably pick up a felony conviction, become unemployable, whatever, and now they want to do their own thing, they don't go to school and get trained for it. They don't go seek out someone, mentorship, training program something to prepare them for entrepreneurship so you're basically saying that you need a degree to work that position but you don't need no type of training to supervise that position Mm -hmm. because as a ceo as and as you grow and you you start to hire people and you're gonna have to know even if you wasn't trained in hr you gotta have some idea of the general principles of hr and, and marketing and sales and logistics and so you gotta go it's good for you to go somewhere to get that mm-hmm. whether podcast reinforcing things or training programs um to get that understanding mm-hmm. so that now you can develop the people that actually went to college for it mm-hmm. but sometimes so many times we don't do that we just we just stumble out into it i can cook yeah. so i can be a chef mm-hmm. and i can just start a restaurant yeah. i can cut hair so i can be a barber yeah. like we look at the craft yeah. so much more yeah. than the craft of leadership or That's the right. craft of being an executive right. or the craft of being a manager. Like That's it's right. so much more that goes into it. Yeah. And that's the kind of stuff what I try to talk about when it comes to being black and in business. That's right. Like you run into be a, a, a business owner, but black people, we do not have the same opportunities. It mm. does. Racism does not stop when you start a business. It don't, mm. it don't. You start a business, so racism stops. Mm-mm. If we understand that George Floyd was a real thing, mm-hmm. Trayvon Martin was a real mm-hmm. thing, Sean Bell was a real thing, mm-hmm. uh, Oscar Grant was a real thing, Eric Garner was a real thing, I can keep mm-hmm. going because I got some activism in my blood. Come on, man. But if we understand that those things are real thing, Walter Scott, like I can, you know, I keep going, Breonna Taylor, I'm we can keep Diallo. going. If we, if we can understand that those things are real, don't think that when you go into business, it doesn't exist there as well. That's right. You're going to get denied. Your business plan is going to get denied. You're not going to get a diverse workforce many times. You will not get adequate funding many times. You're not going to get the right people, even from our community, to come work for you many times. You don't really attract the high skill worker and a high-paying customer. Mm-hmm. There's so much that you have to develop and figure out in order to ascend from black entrepreneurship into being a mainstream entrepreneur. 